Hello and thank you for clicking on one of my videos. This is the Lip Service Project Pen Finale for 2023. This in general is a Pentastic Ladies Collab Project Pen that was created by Jessica Lee and Amanda. And I'm going to link both of them and also the Pentastic Ladies group over on Facebook down in the description box for you to be able to check them out. And yeah, let's head into my finale. I did work on 10 lip products within 2023. And I want to go through each and every one of them and talk about them again for the last time within this project. So the first lip product that has been in here is this lip glass by MAC. And I did not track my uses overall on all of these items. I think I did so in the beginning, but then I stopped doing so. But yeah, um, so I don't have the total amount of uses that it took me to use this up. But as you're able to see, this is used up completely. I think I took out the stopper. Yeah, I took out the stopper. This was definitely one of the first items that I did use up. I, in general, really, really love the lip glass formula. This one I also enjoyed, but the color was quite dark for me, in my opinion. So I would not repurchase this color, but I have repurchased lip glasses by MAC already. So one empty right at the beginning that I'm talking about. Then the second lip gloss, which is by Tarte and it's the H2O gloss. I actually thought this would be done as well. It's not done. And mostly that's because I lost it. I lost it for several months. I did finally, finally find it like four days ago or so. And it still hasn't settled again. So I cannot say how much I did use and how much is still left in here. I'm guessing it's around the H2O mark, but I'm not sure. Um, I wanted to use up this one, but again, I lost it. So I did not use this up, but yeah, um, this will definitely be done within the year of 2024, even though this will be one item that's not recurring in my lip service project plan for 2024. But now let's stay within this update. Then I have this sleek matte me liquid lipstick in the shade birthday suit. And my goal was never to use this up. I set myself some goals of using it three times within each month, which I basically never did do. I did use it in the beginning a lot uh, during the colder months of the year. But I don't know, currently when it's colder again, I don't really want to use it. But yeah, it's a nice product. It's a nice liquid lipstick that's not sticky and la does last actually. Like I enjoy it. I just don't want to reach for liquid lipstick currently because my lips are quite dry. Then I have the Sophie's lipstick, which for me also was always, I was always sure that I am not going to use this one up. I put this in here because this is probably the oldest or one of the oldest lipsticks in my collection and I wanted to use as much as I could. I kind of neglected this within this project though. So yeah, um, I have some marks for the Sophie's one. These are the marks. So the last mark down here is where I am at now and up here I was up here in the beginning of 2023, which is not a lot of usage, but it's still usage, <laughs> which I'm happy about. Um, but yeah, that's how much I used within a year. And then another lip product. This is the Revlon. I don't know how these lip products are called, but it's in the shade 725 HD Sunset. And yeah, I also did use this one up completely. I don't know if you can see in there with the light I currently have. I even dug everything out within the packaging. And yeah, I 
absolutely love this formula. I did not enjoy the color that much, but I love this formula. I have another one in this formula in my collection. I think they have been discontinued, unfortunately, because this was very, very nice. And I have a mark for this one as well. So that's the second empty. Let's put the empties up here. And the marks for this one. So this was all the way up here. And now it's down to here. So I am completely done with this, which I'm very, very happy about. I, this was easy to use because it was very creamy and it's not, it's a thinner pencil, I guess, <laughs> to use. Um, yeah, I really, really did enjoy this one, even though I did not like the color that much. Then the next item that I did work on is this Marc Jacobs lip liner. And this I had in here because through YouTube videos, I know that Marc Jacobs eyeliners dry out quite quickly. So I thought maybe this will be the case with this lip liner as well. And actually this did dry out within a year. So maybe I wasn't wrong. <laughs> um, that's the initial thought why I put it in here. And I wanted to use this one up, which I actually did do so. You can see there's a little bit of product still in here. I mean, a little bit. There's product still in here, but I wore it basically to the top. No, I don't know. <laughs> to the top of the packaging and I cannot use it anymore. So this is done. And another empty within this project. I don't normally use lip liners. I do have them because I got them through sets or some gifts with purchases. And that's why I wanted to go through them. And this is the first I did go through, uh, I used up. And that's what makes me happy because I don't normally use lip liners. So I'm happy that I have one less in my collection. And the Marc Jacob lips liner I always did use with this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. And this is the small size. And this is how much I do have left. It's just a tiny nap, but this wears down very slowly for me. So yeah, I did not manage to use this one up. But again, I also think there will be quite a bit done in the packaging here. So yeah, um, I did not finish this one up and I forgot to show you the markings. These are the marks for the Marc Jacobs lip liner. So I did use up quite a bit. Um, that's interesting to see for me. And then the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk also did use up a little bit. I am at the green mark down here. So I did only use up this tiny bit. Even though this is such a tiny lipstick, I used it a lot, a lot. But this, as I mentioned, wore down so slowly. But yeah, that's the progress I made. Next up, uh, Colourpop Lippy Sticks in the shade Lumiere. And this one, there's still so, so much in here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it's ridiculous. This is quite dark for me. So I don't use it a lot, a lot. I can also show you some marks because I also did track uses like this. Um, yeah, it's too dark for me just to wear on a daily basis. And that's why this has gone very, very slowly. And I did not make the greatest progress, I think. So this is the Lumiere one. I only have three marks. Um, I started at the top here and now I'm here. So just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of it. Even though in the beginning, I also did use this quite a bit during the winter months. But yeah, in the last probably half year, I basically never used it. And then <laughs> a lip product I'm very happy about is this Makeup Factory because I also did use this up completely. I mean, this is by Makeup Factory and it's a lipstick in the shade 02D or something like that, or 02D, I don't know. I only had like in the beginning, in January, I was like 
so low, I was like this. And I had to use it just a little bit to make it even with the packaging. And then I dug everything out in here, which took quite a while, I have to say. There was a lot of product in here. And yeah, this was very, very nice. I, if I would not have as many lip products that I currently do, I probably would repurchase one of these lipsticks. This was a metallic one, but a very, very slight metallic. And I really, really did enjoy this. So this was nice and I'm finally, finally done with this one. Let's put the empties here. And then for the last item, oh no, I forgot to show you the markings. So these are the marks for the Makeup Factory one. You can see I had just a teeny tiny bit left um, for me to get to the packaging. Um, the packaging starts right at the end of the paper here. So this is how much I did use up and then a little bit within the packaging still. So, and now for the last item, this is the Vaseline Lip Therapy one. And I do not like to show this because I think it's gross a little bit. So I don't know why I put it in here, but this is how it looks like. I use it a lot. I use this as a night balm now. And I did use it a lot, a lot within this project as well. And it's going to take a long, long time still to use this up. Even though I use this so, so many times, this is, there's so much product in here. This is super, super long lasting, which yeah, I do enjoy it. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, this will stay in my collection for quite a while. So yes, that's basically my finale for this project pen. As you were able to see, I used up four lip products. I am happy about that. I wish it would be more, <laughs> um, but yeah, I am happy about it because I think I would not have gotten through this one, especially and also the lip liner if they would not have been in this project. And yeah, I'm a little bit sad that I did not use up the Tarte lip gloss because I think I would have been able to if I would not have lost it. And yeah, so that's it for this finale. I want to thank you again for watching this series. I really enjoyed this and I tried, I enjoyed it that much that I'm actually going to join the Lip Service Project Pen for 2024 as well. I am currently filming this in 2024 already, so <laughs> I'm a little bit behind filming all of these, but yeah, um, that's truly it now. And thanks again for watching. Bye.